Um, in our first uh, lab last week, we looked at the whole brain. As a little review, we had the frontal lobe, the temporal lobe, and the occipital lobe. Um, here you can see, when I turn it over, you can see the cerebellum, this area right here. And we've been spending our time the last two weeks down in the spinal cord. This gives you a good feel for the relatively small size of the spinal cord. Just think about all those pathways that are going up and down the spinal cord. Of course, this would be the ventral surface. This would be the dorsal surface. And now we're going to move into the brain stem. So here's the spinal cord, and the foramen magnum would be right about here. And lying underneath the cerebellum here and connected to it is the brain stem. You can see your large vertebral arteries, basilar artery here. But underneath here, they have the medulla. Then we have a big swelling here of fibers called the pons. And pretty much obscured is the midbrain. So now I'm going to cut this off and show you what it looks like uh, in cross-section. Okay. Now we're looking at the brain stem. I've, I've cut it off. And again, this would be caudal. This would be rostral. This would be ventral and the cerebellum is dorsal. You can see this brain stem is kind of stuck to the overlying uh, cerebellum. And the, way, the reason it's stuck to it is that there's some pathways going to and from the cerebellum called cerebellar peduncles, and we're going to talk about those. So in the brainstem series, we're going to start right about here in the caudal medulla, and we're going to cut the brainstem and frontal sections, cross sections, going like this up through the pons. And at the end of the series, we're going to have the midbrain. And here you can see the midbrain. Some of you saw the substantia nigra, this dark area here. Here's the cerebral aqueduct. Here's the superior colliculus. Now these are all, in, you don't know these terms, but uh, you will before the exam, I'm sure. And I'm just pulling off some blood vessels here. You can see a piece of the third nerve here. So again, we're going to start down here in the medulla, and we're going to cut it and go take each pathway, each cell group in each area, and each slab as I go rostrally. Now you can see here on the ventral surface of the medulla, you can see some nerve coming off here, which is the 12th nerve. We'll talk about that. But there's a nice little bump here called the pyramid. And this pyramid is full of cortical spinal fibers. Just lateral to the pyramid here is a large bump called the olive. Now here's a sagittal view of the brain stem. You can see the spinal cord right here, which should be you know, more straight than that. Spinal cord goes up through the foramen magnum, and then you have the medulla. Then you have the big pons right here. And then rostrally here, you're going to have the midbrain. Overlying it again is the cerebellum. Here you can see some of the fourth ventricle. Here's the inferior colliculus, the superior colliculus. So this is midbrain up here. This is pons right here, medulla right here, and spinal cord right here. Now remember, we're, we're about at this level in the lecture series. We're going to be moving up in cross sections that go down through the medulla. Then they go through the pons, and they end up in the midbrain. Now here we have another ventral view of the brainstem. Again, this most rostral little piece here you can see would be the midbrain. This huge area here is what we call the basilar pons. And then from down this area right in here would be the medulla. And this would be spinal cord. You can see the beautiful pyramids right here, full of cortical spinal fibers. And then just lateral to the pyramids would be the inferior olive. You can also see a cranial nerve here. This is cranial nerve 6. This would be 7 and 8 right here, and this big fat one here would be the trigeminal. You can see it coming right out of the pons. Now here's a dorsal surface look at the brain stem. Again, down here would be the spinal cord. We're looking down from the top, and we've taken the cerebellum off. You can see down in here the huge fourth ventricle that's been capped by the cerebellum. So again, we're going to make our cross sections like this as we go up to the medulla. Then we're going to get through the pons, and we're going to end up cutting right through the superior colliculus straight down in the midbrain. So this is the midbrain. You've got the superior colliculus here, inferior colliculus here. And coming out behind the inferior colliculus, skinny little nerve right here, the trochlear. You can see how thin that is. comes out the dorsal surface. It's the only cranial nerve that comes off dorsally. And then we'll go around on the ventral surface. You can see the connections of the brain stem to the overlying cerebellum here. This would be that most of this right here is the middle cerebellar peduncle. There's a little piece of the inferior cerebellar peduncle right here. And then going rostrally right here are the two superior cerebellar peduncles. 
You can see some cranial nerves here on this side, probably a piece of 7 and 8, 9 and 10 out there.